are going to replace the freezer box because the refrigerant is leaking from it. First, we will cut the charging line of compressor. There is no refrigerant in the system. Now set the MS seat behind the filter because uh, we are going to remove it. Fire the blow lamp. Remove it uh, when it will be red. Now switch on the power. Cover the charging line with the cotton so the dust cannot go inside. And do you know guys what we are doing now? Yes, we are flushing. Flushing is required for all the systems. Now remove the suction line from the compressor and uh, cut the capillary also from the filter. Now remove the old uh, freezer box and uh, replace it with a uh, new evaporator coil. After it, uh, rub the liquid line uh, with the emery paper because uh, it is not a copper, it is uh, made of MS. Now we will join the new filter. And uh, it is required for all the time when we are going to refill the gas.
clean the capillary bore with a needle or a capillary gauge. We will make the coil of capillary. Now we are going to join the capillary with the filter. After finishing all the joints, we are ready to take the pressure and the leakage testing. We must be very careful about the pressure level. Uh, the pressure uh, should not be more than 100 psig. Check all the joints. Everything is alright, now release all the pressure and uh, start the vacuum process. The vacuum process uh, will be run at least uh, 30 to 60 minutes. Now after half an hour the vacuum process is completed so we can disconnect it. Now connect the charging line with the uh, R134A refrigerant cylinder. Release some quantity of refrigerant so we can uh, 
purge the air from the line. We will refill the refrigerant uh, up to 50 to 60 PSIG. Now switch on the power supply of refrigerator and uh, keep watching on the on the gauge. The suction pressure uh, should be 10 PSIG. The discharge line will be very hot. The starting of condenser is hot and the lower part of the condenser is warm. The filter is also warm. After an hour, we can see that uh, the freezer box is completely frozen. As we know that the process is uh, completely over, so disconnect the charging line from the compressor and uh, take the leak test. Close it with her dead cap. 